Local pharmaceutical firms are working on developing homegrown COVID-19 vaccines. Some could finish their clinical trials before the year is up and begin distribution in 2022. Pei zooms in on the efforts. Around the world, there are nearly 100 COVID-19 vaccine candidates undergoing clinical trials and 184 candidates in pre-trial development. South Korean firms are also in this race to develop their own vaccines. Currently, five domestic companies have been granted approval to conduct clinical trials. Of them, two companies are in Phase 2. SK Bioscience has two vaccine candidates. One of them has finished Phase 1, and the other one is currently in both Phase 1 and 2. Another vaccine developer, U-Biologics, is waiting for its Phase 1 trial results, aiming to begin Phase 2 in June. And one other company is in Phase 1. We plan to begin Phase 3 clinical trials in the second half of this year. If this happens, we plan on getting the conditional approval by the end of this year and distributing the vaccines starting early next year. SK Bioscience is another company that aims to begin Phase 3 clinical trials in the second half of this year and start distribution next year. Each company is developing vaccines similar to those by Novavax and AstraZeneca. SK Bioscience and U-Biologics are working on making protein subunit vaccines, the traditional way of developing vaccines. This is similar to the technology used by Novavax. This type of vaccine spurs an immune response by injecting a spike protein from the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the one which causes COVID-19. It also adds chemical agents called adjuvants to stimulate a stronger immune response. Another company called Celid is developing viral vector vaccines, like the ones developed by AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson. This technology uses a harmless virus as a delivery system to trigger the immune system to create antibodies. Meanwhile, the two other companies, Genexine and Gene One Life Science, are working on what are called DNA vaccines, which transfect antigen-coding sequences into the recipient's cells. Pei Arirang News.